Literature Enhanced Physical Education presents Bugs, Flowers, and Berries Produced by Lane Heffley Bugs, Flowers, and Berries Written by Lynn Heffley Illustrated by Steve McGinnis Davy the praying mantis sat perched on the limb of a rose bush, counting out loud, when Missy the ladybug and Nat the Japanese beetle flew into the garden with Harry the ant walking close behind. Why are you counting, Davy? asked Missy. I'm counting jumps, said Davy. Ayla and TJ are exercising. The group bounded down from the bush, jumped over the butternut squash, and sat on the edge of a carrot stalk just as Kayla the cricket and TJ the grasshopper flopped to the ground. Why are you jumping like that? asked Nat. Our parents told us to go outside and exercise, said Kayla. My dad says exercise is the key to a happy, healthy life, added TJ. He's right, said Harry. According to my research, eating healthy foods and exercising daily helps keep your body and your mind fit. I'm not a great jumper, said Nat. Me neither, said Missy. There are lots of ways to get exercise. Follow me, said Harry, leaping off the carrot and racing over to the flower bed. Harry took a large bite out of the stem of a daisy and held it up in the air. Toss me a blueberry, Davy. Harry caught the blueberry, tossed it into the air, and bounced it off the flower over and over again. Wow, that looks like fun, Harry, exclaimed the group. Give it a try, encouraged Harry. I can't do it, whined Missy. The berry moves too fast, said Davy. This is impossible, agreed Nat. My flower is too small cried Kayla. It's not hard for me, cheered TJ. It's too easy. It's not impossible, Nat. Everything is possible with practice and the right tools, explained Harry. Missy, you can try a large lily and bite the stem off so that it's short. You'll be able to control the berry better. Nat, why don't you try a daisy and a dandelion seed ball. The seed ball is bigger and moves slower. Davy, you can keep the daisy, but use a milkweed seed. The seed will float down slowly so that you can follow it. TJ, you should challenge yourself with a smaller flower. Keep the stem long and pick up a tiny berry. It will move faster, making it harder to volley, suggested Harry. Now try this, Missy. I bet you can hit the raspberry I've attached to the spider web. The berry will always return to you, explained Harry. How's that dandelion ball, Nat? You can bounce it high and low as long as you keep it in the center of the flower, instructed TJ. Davy, we can volley that seed back and forth with ease now stated Harry. Hey gang, look what I can do. I can bounce the berries and hit them in the bucket, said TJ. That looks like fun, shouted Kayla. Can I try? Sure, Kayla, let me toss you an acorn. I think that will make it easier, suggested TJ. Ugh, that was terrible. Why did it go over there, asked Kayla. Your flower was angled up and away from the bucket when you hit the acorn. Start with your hand down in the back. Hit the acorn with the flower facing the target. Finish with your flower up high, like this, demonstrated TJ. We can all practice by hitting berries against the fence over there. 
Let's see how many times in a row we can hit it, suggested Missy. I'm getting better already. I can hit it in the air, said Nat. Me too. I can hit it off a bounce, said Kayla. I can hit it on my right side, said Davy. I can hit it on my left side, said Harry. I can hit it when it's over my head, said TJ. Missy, do you want to try to volley a seed with me over this garden fence? asked Nat. Sure, that sounds like fun, replied Missy. Hey, TJ and Davy, do you want to try playing with Kayla and I? asked Harry. Sure, they all cheered. The bugs played and played until sweat tickled their foreheads, their hearts raced, and their muscles got tired. It was almost time for the fireflies to come out when they lay back into the grass. Wow, that was amazing. I feel great, said Kayla. You know what else is great about exercising this way? It makes for a healthy meal too, crunched TJ.